morning. It is Tuesday, December 26th, 2023, and it's time for a reality check. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth, and I have been living in the light by documenting my weight loss and now my maintenance of that 160 pound weight loss over the course of the last 18 months. So I am now into maintenance and I am continuing to check in uh, because this really helps with my own accountability. And I continue to share day in my life, what I eat in a day, healthy recipes. So if you're looking for weight loss encouragement and support, if you're looking for just healthy options, uh, to watch what somebody does in their own life as they attempt to live a more healthy lifestyle, then I would love it if you would subscribe. And as always, please hit that thumbs up. It takes you just a little second to like my video. It really does help me. It helps my channel. Um, it helps support me in a little way. I don't do this for a living, but um, I do enjoy making these videos and uh, coming and spending some time with you and sharing things that are going on in my life. So hit that thumbs up button. And also it's the day after Christmas. So leave me some comments in the comments box down below and tell me what you did that made a healthy choice during the holidays. And I'm going to share some things with you. So as I said, I lost 160 pounds over the last 18 months. I have been in maintenance for about six weeks, six or seven weeks, almost eight weeks, I guess. I started on uh, November the 6th, and in that time uh, that I've been on maintenance, I've, I've lost a few pounds, and that is intentional, trying to um, go get about 10 pounds below my goal weight, just so that I have a little bit of wiggle room. My goal weight was actually my, uh, basically the top end. It's the most I want to ever weigh again in my life. And if I can stay below that, all the better. So that's what I have been doing. I've got lots of videos that I've shared um, and um, information, but just as a really quick recap, I use the Optavia 5-in-1 program. Uh, right now is the time of year when everybody starts thinking about, oh, I, when I start the new year, I'm going to start a new diet. I'm going to get healthy and that's great. Uh, but let me tell you something about any weight loss program. Um, it's a lot of work and it really takes, it is not just what you eat and how much you move, but there is a lot that has to go on in your head. And if you want to lose weight and keep it off permanently, you can't just do a diet you have to change your lifestyle. And that is true whether you do Optavia or Weight Watchers or you go on Ozempic or whatever you do, um, if you do not change your lifestyle, you will not keep the weight off. And so that's uh, one of my major encouragements for you as you look at um, the new year and maybe making some healthy changes in your lifestyle is before you um, jump onto a program, before you decide I'm going to do X to lose weight, uh, make sure that you are fully committed. Make sure that you are willing to follow whatever program you follow. Make sure you're willing to follow that program uh, the way that it is designed to be followed. Make sure that you are willing to make the changes necessary um, to not only lose the weight, but to keep it off. Why spend all that time and money uh, to lose weight if you are just going to go back to the way you were eating before? You're going to put all of the weight back on. So if you want to make permanent changes, you have to make permanent changes. And that just is, to me, that's, that's logical, but it took me 58 years to figure that out. Um, and I am an Octavia independent coach. Um, I do help people uh, reach their weight loss goals, but I can tell you right now, if you're not willing to put in the time and you're not willing to make the changes and to stop saying, I'm just gonna cut this out for a little while and lose weight, 
that's not going to work no matter what program you're on. Um, don't spend the money on Optavia. Don't spend the money on Weight Watchers. Don't spend the money on Noom. Don't spend the money on whatever it is that you're, whatever program is out there. Don't spend the money on that if you're not willing to make those changes. So that's my uh, kind of my hard and fast. This is reality check. This is the way that the way that it is. As I said also at the beginning, I use this reality check a lot for own personal accountability. And so I kind of want to share what um, the last couple of days, what transpired over the last couple of days and a lesson that I learned. Um, I, you know, I am in a family with people who are all normal weights. That's just, you know, my, my son and daughter, uh, my husband, my daughter-in-law, my, her family, like everybody's just like normal weight people. Um, nobody is, you know, extremely overweight. Nobody like, you know, it's just, I was always the big one. Um, and now I fit right in. Uh, but my, one of the ways that I show love is through food. And that's the way it is for a lot of people. Um, I love to cook. I love to bake. I love to make meals for people and make people happy and provide them with good food. And um, I'm a fairly healthy cook. Um, so I did a lot. You're, you, I have a video that's coming out probably next week. Um, it's, it's going to be a longer video. It is actually a Christmas baking video. I, I did a whole day of prep last week and I vlogged the entire thing. It is not weight loss friendly. So keep that in mind. It's a little bit of a departure, but you know, I wanted to share what I did and I prepped a lot of food for Sunday and Monday, Christmas Eve and Christmas day. And so I want to share that with you. But what I did was on Christmas Eve, we went over to uh, my son's house and we actually spent the night, Christmas Eve night, and then spent the day yesterday. And so Christmas Eve, I made dinner for everybody and I made lasagna. I did two lasagnas. I did a traditional lasagna, you know, with ricotta cheese and um, lasagna noodles, like the whole nine yards. And then I did the same, I, I also did a lasagna. Instead of noodles, I used um, zucchini, so planks of zucchini. And then instead of the ricotta cheese mixture, the ricotta and eggs, I made just a bechamel, a white sauce. Um, it still had Parmesan, it still had mozzarella cheese in there. So there was still cheese in it. There was still meat in the lasagna, I just used tried to cut back a little bit on the fat and the carbs by removing some of those higher items. I also made uh, roasted garlic cheese rolls, made a big salad, uh, my ranch dressing, which is a low fat ranch, but it's delicious. Um, and so that's what we had. We also did a cookie decorating contest. So I made cookies and icings and, and we had fun doing that. Um, and I gave myself a free pass for the, those two days. It was just like, I've worked hard. I've taken off the weight. I'm below my goal weight. I'm going to basically eat what I want um, over the course of the next two days. So on Sunday, I had vegetable lasagna and that was intentional. I had some salad, I had a roll and we decorated cookies and I ate one of the cookies that I decorated that had like buttercream icing on it. And that was fine. Well, the, yesterday I traditionally make a uh, strudel, a jam filled strudel in the morning. I also made cinnamon rolls, set a few different flavors of cinnamon rolls. We always have bacon and sausage and eggs. And I got up early in the morning and I had yogurt and berries and had my coffee and just, you know, like was trying to kind of stick to a routine and that kind of all went out the window. The should have part uh, is that I should have two hours or three hours later, should have had my oatmeal and blueberries uh, because we ended up eating breakfast much, much later. So I didn't eat every two hours, which was the first mistake that I made. 
The second mistake I made was, I was like, well, I'm not gonna eat a whole cinnamon roll. I'll eat half of, I did some Nutella with uh, strawberry icing and I did some orange rolls. I did half of a Nutella roll, half of an orange roll, which was basically an entire cinnamon roll. Um, and half of a piece of strudel, bacon and sausage and eggs. And by about 11 o'clock, I was miserable. My stomach hurt. I just, I felt awful. And I've heard people, I've read people's comments on Facebook groups that, you know, they ate something while they were on five and one, they ate something and, you know, it, they felt horrible and they didn't sleep and they had indigestion. And all of a sudden I was like, yeah, I've, you know, I'm not on five and one anymore. I'm eating regular food. I should be okay. And let me tell you, no, I have not had processed sugar, like straight up plain white sugar, brown sugar in any quantity other than the amounts that they use in fuelings for 18 months. Like I haven't, I've had maple syrup and I've had honey since I've gone into maintenance, but I haven't had regular sugar and to eat that whole cinnamon roll was a huge mistake. Like I realize now that that type of sugar really is not good for me and um, I need to stay away from it. Now on the scale, I was fine. I got on the scale this morning. I'm still like, I didn't, I did not gain anything, which is awesome. Um, that I'm still well below my uh, goal weight. I kind of, I stay probably about six pounds below. Um, and so I kind of go anywhere from um, six to eight pounds below my goal weight. I've kind of fluctuated in there. Um, I've been as low as eight pounds below, but I really have not been more than five pounds below in a very long time. So um, I'm staying in that very safe zone and I'm, and I'm comfortable with that, happy with that, glad that that happened. But I did want to share in all honesty that you know, you, this is still about making choices. For the rest of my life, I have to make choices and I have to make smart choices. And eating a whole cinnamon roll was not a smart choice, a bite. That's all I really needed was just a bite. I just needed to taste it to say, oh yeah, that is, that's good. That's tasty and I can move on. And, and um, could have, should have, would have. Now I know, um, that I could have a bite of something and feel satisfied and move on and eat other things. So lesson learned, wanted to share that with you. It's the day after Christmas. Um, I've got a few things to do around here and then I'm headed back to my son's house tomorrow uh, for three days to help take care of Taylor um, because her her other grandmother is having surgery today. So Cindy, I am praying for you this morning and for your surgeons and uh, for your pain relief. And um, I am looking forward to taking care of Taylor for um, an extra day for the next uh, several weeks. Uh, I not only will watch her on Wednesdays, but I also get to watch her on Fridays and that's really exciting. So. That is my reality check. Um, if you have questions about weight loss, if you need some support, please reach out to me, leave me a comment. Um, I'm happy to chat with you. I can share with you about Optivia, but as I said, if you are not fully committed, if it's not something that you're willing to uh, make permanent changes, and that is not just changes to what you eat and how much you move, but how you think. Um, your your approach to food has to completely change. Mine has um, still learning, uh, but for the most part, my my whole outlook on food has completely changed over the last 18 months. And I know that's the only way that I will be able to maintain my weight loss. So look for some videos coming in the future. A really good one that's not a weight loss one. And um, I will also be doing some great uh recipes that I want to share with you that um, are great, whether you're trying to lose weight or just be healthy. So until I see you next time, please live in the light.